Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this text messaging animation in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. So let's get started. All right, I've already created a full HD resolution sequence. Firstly, we need some assets to create text messaging animation. I already have some assets on my computer. You can download all these assets using the link provided in the video description. As you can see, there are three different text message bubbles. Also, we have a message loading and message profile picture mat file. After that, I'm going to drag and drop the short message bubble, message loading, and message profile picture mat file inside the project panel. Now we have to drag and drop the message bubble file onto the timeline in video layer one. After that, you can reduce the duration by cutting off the length of the message bubble layer. Now you can see the message bubble animation, something looks like this. Next, let's go over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a luma key effect. After that, we need to go to the effect controls panel to customize the luma key effect. Let's make the threshold parameter value around 5%. In the next step, let's move over to the project panel, and then let's drag and drop the message loading mat file onto the timeline in video layer 2. Also, you can reduce the duration by cutting off the length of the message loading layer. Now you can see the message loading animation something looks like this. The message loading mat file currently has some rough edges that need attention. To enhance its appearance, let's go over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a luma key effect. Once applied, you will notice that the black background of the message loading file has been effectively removed. After that, we need to go to the effect controls panel to customize the luma key effect. Let's make the threshold parameter value around 95%. In the following step, let's select the message bubble and the message loading layers. And then, let's go over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a tint effect. Now, I'm going to leave the message loading layer as it is. After that, let's select the message bubble layer and go to the effect controls panel to customize the tint effect. Here, I'm going to select the white color for the matte black property. Now, let's select these two layers and then right click on any of the selected layers and choose nest from the context menu. Give it a descriptive name that reflects the content of the nested layers. In the next step, we have to create a new sequence for the profile picture. Let's right click on the project panel. Next, select sequence. In the new sequence dialog box, we need to go to the settings panel. Now I'm going to set the frame size 490 for both width and height. This is the perfect size for the profile picture. And lastly, we need to give a sequence name. I'm going to call this image placeholder and then click on OK. This will create a new sequence with the specified dimensions in your timeline panel. Now we have to import an image for the profile picture in the project panel. After that, we can drag and drop the image onto the timeline. In the following step, let's go back to the main sequence. Now we have to drag and drop the image placeholder onto the timeline in video layer 2. And then, you can reduce the duration by cutting off the length of the image placeholder. After that, let's select the image placeholder and move over to the effect controls panel. Now let's make the scale parameter value around 17. After that, we need to reposition the image to the right side of the message bubble. That's why, let's make the X position parameter value around 1690. This is the perfect position for the profile picture. After that, let's select the image placeholder and then right click on it. After that, choose nest from the context menu. I'm going to call this profile picture and then click on OK. After that, let's move over to the project panel and then let's drag and drop the message profile picture mat file onto the timeline in video layer 3. As you can see on the program monitor, the mat file has a black background. To remove the black background, we need to move over to the effects panel to apply a luma key effect. Once applied, you will notice that the black background of the profile picture file has been effectively removed. Next, go to the effect controls panel and make the threshold parameter value around 95% of the luma key effect. In the next step, we need to reveal the image that is hidden beneath the white circular mat. That's why, let's go over to the effects panel to apply a track mat key effect. Let's drag and drop the track mat key effect onto the image layer. After that, we need to go to the effect controls panel to customize the track mat key effect. Now I'm going to select the third track as the mat layer because the white circular mat layer is in the video layer three. And then from the composite parameter, let's select the mat luma to use the edges of the mat file. Now you can see the image inside the mat file. All right. It's it's time to add text for the message bubble. That's why we have to create a new sequence. Let's right click on the project panel. Next, we need to click on the sequence from the drop down menu of the new item section. In the new sequence dialog box, we need to go to the settings panel. Now I'm going to set the frame size 833 for the width, and then let's make the frame size 40 for the height. And lastly, we have to type a sequence name. I'm going to call this text placeholder and then click on OK. This will create a new sequence with the specified dimensions in your timeline panel. First of all, let's select the type tool and click somewhere on the program monitor and then type anything that you want. After that, we can switch over to the selection tool by clicking this icon. Now we can move over to the essential graphics panel to change some text settings. You can change the font stuff, font size, and color of your text.
text. After that, we have to select the center alignment icon to align the text horizontally and vertically to the center of the screen. And lastly, I'm going to select a black color for the text. You can use any color that you want except white color. Also, we need to increase the duration of the text layer. In the next step, let's go back to the main sequence and then move over to the project panel. Firstly, move the time indicator at the beginning of the sequence. After that, move the time indicator 27 frames forward. Next, drag and drop the text placeholder at this position onto the timeline in video layer 4. We can reduce the duration by cutting off the length of the text placeholder, and we have to remove the extra part. Now we have to animate the text a little bit. That's why, let's select the text placeholder and move over to the effect controls panel. Firstly, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the text layer. After that, we have to create keyframes for the position parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Now we have to move the text to the right side a little bit by using the X position property. In my case, this is the perfect position. And then, let's move the time indicator 14 frames forward. Now let's create another keyframe by clicking on this icon. Next, we need to move the text to the left side a little bit by using the X position property. I think this is the perfect position. All right, with these couple of steps, we have created this simple text animation. It looks great. We can improve the animation by right clicking on the last keyframe and then select ease in. Next, let's right click on the first keyframe and then select ease out. This will make the animation look a lot smoother. Lastly, we have to click on the drop down menu of the position parameter to expand the speed graph panel and then we have to drag and move the blue handle slightly left side to slow the speed down. All right, with these couple of steps, we have successfully crafted an engaging text messaging animation. By following this process, you can effortlessly produce a variety of text messages for your project inside Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.